hello friends welcome back to all about structural analysis and uh, design so in this video we will see how to analyze a beam when two supports are sinking okay in slope deflection method we have already seen one support sinking and uh, this video will be by moment distribution method and we will see where two supports are sinking how to analyze and also in this problem e and i values are given okay so that also we will try to incorporate already there are three videos on moment distribution method so i'll be giving the link in the description box you can check out those videos before moving on to this particular video so let's begin with today's video before finding out uh, fixed and moments we shall convert e and i values because uh, i and e values are in mm uh, this one uh, millimeters whereas our span is in meters so the load is uh, already in kilonewton so no need to convert that one so before moving on to the fixed and moment we will start the conversion process so here first we will convert i value so i given is so there are two i separate i given because i a b and i c d so this a b and c d is having one uh, value of i that is 2 into 10 raised to 7 mm raised to 4 whereas the span b c is having different i value that is 4 into 10 raised to 7 mm raised to 4 so first we will convert i a b and i c d so i a b is equals to i c d is equals to the given is 2 into 10 raised to 7 mm raised to 4 so this we need to convert in meter raised to 4 so for that first we will write as it is 2 into 10 raised to 7 into so when you want to convert in meters you will be dividing it by 1000 and this raised to 4 will remain as it is so once you work out this one you will get 2 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter raised to 4 so now we have converted our iab and icd in terms of meters so similarly you have to convert ibc so ibc is equals to 4 into 10 raised to 7 m mm raised to 4 so this we will convert so 4 into 10 raised to 7 into 1 divided by 1000 raised to 4 so this comes out to be 4 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter raised to 4 now the next process is to convert e so e is equals to 200 kilonewton per mm square so this is, should be converted into meter so for this first we'll write 200 as it is so divided by so per it is so therefore divide so 1 divided by 1000 square so this comes out to be 200 into 10 raised to 6 kilonewton per meter square so this will be our first step to get the value of ei now it is in proper unit system so we can multiply ei so here you will be getting two ei values first for ab and cd and next for bc so ei ab and cd so this is equals to e is 200 into 10 raised to 6 okay then i value is 2 into 10 raised to minus 5 so this comes out to be 4000 kilonewton meter square similarly ei for bc e value is same 200 into 10 raised to 6 into i value is 4 into 10 raised to minus 5 so this comes out to be 8000 kilonewton meter square so first convert ei value then multiply ei and get in proper unit system so after this we will go for the fixed end moments before that we will see here where the sink is given so support b is sinking by 2 mm so this support is sinking by 2 mm and support c is sinking by 7 mm so c is sinking by 7 mm so we will write down that one so delta b is equals to 2 mm so this if you convert in meters it will be 0 0.002 meters and delta c 7 mm so this will be 0 0.007 meters so this also we have to be careful while converting okay to find out fixed end moments okay 
now you have to be careful that whenever the sink is given in the moment distribution problem that sink should be incorporated in the calculation of fixed end moments whereas in slope deflection method problem we have seen the delta was incorporated in slope deflection equations whereas the delta will be incorporated in fixed end moments calculation in the moment distribution method so i will tell you how to incorporate that one before uh, that the b is sinking by 0.002 meters and c is sinking by 0.007 meters so now we will consider calculating the fixed end moments for span ab so mf ab will be anti clockwise and mf ba will be clockwise and the entire beam is having a uniformly distributed load for the entire span that is the intensity of that udl is 12 kilo newton per meter and the fixed end moment for udl is wl square by 12 so now mfab will be minus wl square by 12 so now only you have to consider the sink part here so here if you consider the point a and this has point b okay in the span a b so a is not sinking and b is sinking by 0 0.002 meters so this will be the new position that is b dash here this will be your lhs and this will be your rhs if you see carefully rhs is going down uh, compared to lhs therefore the um, sign convention will be minus so the delta incorporation will be minus with the intensity of 6 ei delta by l square so always remember if right hand side is going down compared to left hand side the sign convention will be negative now you have to substitute so the w was a 12 kilo newton per meter so minus 12 into span was 3 square and divided by 12 minus 6 ei ei value for ab is 4000 kilo newton meter so this will be 6 into 4000 into delta is 0 0.002 divided by l square that is 3 square so if you calculate this it will come out to be minus 14.33 kilo newton meter okay next mf ba it will be clockwise so wl square by 12 positive and this intensity will remain same for as minus sign so minus 6 ei delta by l square so this is for entire span ab so therefore 12 into 3 square divided by 12 minus 6 into 4000 into 0 0.002 that is delta divided by 3 square so this will be 3.67 kilo newton meter okay so this is how you have to calculate now once you go for the calculation of m f b c so there are two sink now so support b is sinking by 0 0.002 meter and support c is sinking by 0 0.007 meters so now how to take it so this bc will be anti-clockwise so minus wl square by 12 because it is udl okay so now we will consider here this as b point and this has c point so b is sinking by this will be your new position of that is b dash 0 0.002 meters and c is sinking by it is new point c dash 0 0.007 now how you have to take the sink you have to take the sink by the difference of these two points okay so difference will be 0 0.007 minus 0 0.002 will be 0 0.005 meters will be the delta now you have to be careful which is going down so as per my previous here discussion if right hand side going down is negative so this will be your lhs now b point and this will be your rhs now rhs is going down by so you can make out the difference so if you take the difference here so this will be so this distance will be 0 0.00 5 meters so b uh, sorry c is sinking by or rhs is going down by 0 0.005 meters so rhs is going down means so this will be minus 6 ei delta by l square 
okay so this is how you have to incorporate the double sink now you have to substitute so minus 12 intensity was same l was 4 meters 4 square divided by 12 so minus 6 ei for bc ei for bc we have got 8000 so that 8000 you have to substitute delta is 0 0.005 and divide by 4 square so if you work out this one you will get minus 31 kilonewton meter okay so similarly now emf cb emf cb will be positive now wl square by 12 because it is clockwise this will be minus 6 ei delta by l square so this if you substitute you will get 1 kilonewton meter so this is how you have to incorporate the sink now next fixed end moment will be mef cd now here only c is sinking and d is as it is in this original position now we will see how to take it so mef cd will be minus wl square by 12 now c point and d point c is sinking by this is the new position that is 0 0.007 meters and this is not sinking now lhs this one and rhs now rhs is not going down compared to left hand side okay so rhs is at the top so that time you have to take it positive and intensity will be 6 ei delta by l square so whenever rhs is going down that time minus and when rh is going top or at the upper position then it is positive so this intensity was 12 here 12 into 3 square divided by 12 plus 6 ei for uh, cd was ei for cd was 4000 kilonewton meter square so this will be 4000 and delta is 0 0.007 that is 7 mm so l square so 3 square so if you work out mf cd you will get 9.67 kilonewton meter similarly now mf dc so it will be clockwise so wl square by 12 plus 6 ei delta by l square so this will be if you substitute again same only thing is it is plus here so 27.67 kilonewton meter now the next remaining parts will be same that is distribution factor table and moment distribution table so now distribution factor table i have uh, uh, drawn here so there are total four joints because all are hinged okay a b c d all we are going to consider and from a there is only one member that is a b from B, there are two members BA and BC. From C, there are two members CB, CD and from D, there is only one member that is DC. Now we are going to find out the stiffness for all the members. And we have already seen in one of the moment distribution method problem when to take the stiffness 4 EI by L and when to take 3 EI by L. For example, for this span AB, the stiffness will be 4 EI by L because there is a continuation after B. So we will write here 4 EI by L. And now what happens for BA? For BA, there is no continuation after A. So therefore, the stiffness will be 3 EI by L. For BC, for BC after C, there is a span. So the stiffness will be 4 EI by L. Next for CB there is a span after B so therefore 4 EI by L. Next for CD okay for CD after D there is no span therefore 3 EI by L and for DC after C there is a span so therefore 4 EI by L. So for CD after D there is no span so therefore 3 EI by L and for DC it is 4 EI by L. So now you have to substitute here for this EI value for AB is 4000. So 4 into 4000 divided by 3. So 5333.33. 3. 
so this 3 into BA is 4000 divided by 3 so this will be 4000 this will be BC 4 into the EI was 8000 L was 4 so this will be 8000 for CB again it is 8000 so this will be 8000 so for CD the EI value was 4000 so 3 into 4000 divided by 3 so this will be 4000 and for DC 4 into 4000 divided by 3 so this will be 5333.33 so these are the stiffness values for individual members so now sigma k here this is only one so 5333.33 so this will be 4000 plus 8000 12000 same here 8 plus 8000 plus 4000 12000 so this will be 5333.33 now the distribution factor formula is k divided by sigma k so this divided by this is 1 similarly this divided by this is 1 so no change here so now 4000 divided by 12000 so we'll write here so this will give you the distribution factor of 0.333 this 8000 divided by 12000 so this will be point triple six so again this will be eight thousand divided by twelve thousand so this is point triple six and this will be four thousand divided by twelve thousand point triple three so this is how you have to calculate distribution factors for each members so next step the last step is in the calculation is moment distribution table so already i have drawn the table and i have written the joints a b c d so the next row will be to write distribution factors so distribution factors for a b is 1 b a it is point triple 3 b c point triple 6 correct that's what we have calculated B A point triple three B C point triple six C B point triple six C D point triple three. So this will be point triple six C D point triple three and D C is one. Okay. Now the next row will be fixed end moments. So whatever we have calculated fixed end moments with the incorporation of delta, that that we have to write down. M F A B was minus 14.33 mfba 3.67 mfbc minus 31 mfcb was 1 mfcd 9.67 mfdc 27.67 so these are our fixed end moments so now we know that the moment at a is 0 and moment at D is 0 because those are hinged if it was fixed then moment is not 0 okay but here we already know at A and D is 0 so we will simplify our procedure and if you use that simplified procedure then only we can take the stiffness as 3 E I by L wherever the span ends okay so now we have taken to calculate distribution factor uh, the procedure of uh, 3 E I by L stiffness so therefore we will follow this method so once you follow this modified version of the moment distribution method a and d should be made zero how you will make this a as zero fixed end moments you have to add here 14.33 so minus 14.33 plus 14.33 then it will become zero similarly at d so you have to subtract minus 27.67 from this 27.67 positive value so therefore this value will be 0 and this value will be 0 so once you do this you have to send the half part to the other side so this value the half part will come here so 
वन सिक्स फाइव विल बी द हाफ पार्ट एंड हाफ पार्ट ऑफ माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन विल कम हियर एंड इट विल बी माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट एट थ्री फाइव ओके सो लाइक दिस वे यू हैव टू सेंड हाफ पार्ट आफ्टर मेकिंग द एडजस्टमेंट टू मेक इट जीरो सो नेक्स्ट विल बी न्यू वैल्यूज ओके सो वट एवर यू हैव डन नाउ द न्यू वैल्यूज विल कम सो दिस विल बी जीरो दिस विल बी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन प्लस सेवन पॉइंट वन सिक्स फाइव टेन पॉइंट एट थ्री फाइव हियर दिस वैल्यू विल बी एज इट इज माइनस थर्टी वन हियर दिस विल बी एज इट इज वन देन नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट एट थ्री फाइव माइनस फोर पॉइंट वन सिक्स फाइव एंड दिस वैल्यू विल बी जीरो सो दीज आर योर न्यू वैल्यूज ऑफ मोमेंट्स सो नाउ वट विल हैपन द नेक्स्ट रो विल बी ऑफ बैलेंसिंग ओके सो नाउ यू हैव टू बैलेंस दीज टू मोमेंट्स सो टेन पॉइंट एट थ्री फाइव माइनस थर्टी वन यू विल गेट माइनस ट्वेंटी पॉइंट वन सिक्स फाइव दैट माइनस यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू प्लस एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाई डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री 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 एंड जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स 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 सो टेन पॉइंट एट थ्री फाइव माइनस थर्टी वन सो इट इज माइनस ट्वेंटी पॉइंट वन सिक्स फाइव देर फोर पॉजिटिव सो ट्वेंटी पॉइंट वन सिक्स फाइव इन टू पॉइंट ट्रिपल थ्री विल गिव यू सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन वन फाइव एंड इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई पॉइंट बाई पॉइंट सिक्स 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 यू विल गेट थर्टीन पॉइंट फोर थ्री ओके अंडरस्टूड देन द बैलेंसिंग ऑफ दिस ज्वाइंट वन माइनस फोर पॉइंट वन सिक्स फाइव द वैल्यू विल बी माइनस थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स फाइव दैट यू हैव टू मेक इट पॉजिटिव एंड देन मल्टीप्लाई बाई पॉइंट ट्रिपल सिक्स एंड यू विल गेट द वैल्यू एज टू पॉइंट वन जीरो सेवन एंड माइन थ्री पॉइंट वन सिक्स फाइव इन टू पॉइंट ट्रिपल थ्री यू विल गेट वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव फोर सो लाइक दिस वे यू हैव टू डू बैलेंसिंग देन यू हैव टू डू कैरी ओवर मूवमेंट्स सो नाउ डोंट कैरी ओवर हियर दिस साइड इफ इट वॉज फिक्सड देन यू हैव डन इट but already you have made zero so don't carry over this and don't carry over this moment to this side so only carry over will happen these two sides so this will go here half here half so this half is 1.053 and this half is 6.715 okay so now this is positive so make it negative minus 1.053 into point triple 3 you will get minus 0.35. So this row will be balancing. Okay. So then minus 1.053 into point triple six, you will get minus 0.701. Similarly, this is positive. So therefore, minus 6.715 into point triple six. So minus 4.472. So into 0.33, you will get minus 2.236. So make it. Minus and then multiply by distribution factor. Okay, so then again same way, carry over moment. So here don't carry over. Okay, already we have made zero. So this will go this side. This will go this side half. So this will be minus two point two three six and this will be minus zero point three five zero. So next will be again balancing. so positive 2.236 into point triple 3 so that will give you 0.744 and this will be 1.489 then 0.350 into triple point triple 6 you will get 0.233 and 0.350 into point triple 3 you will get 0.1165 so next is again carry over moment so this will be half year half year so 0.1165 and this will be 0.7445 so next will be again balancing so minus 0.1165 into point triple 3 you will get 0.038 that is minus And if you multiply minus zero point one one six five two triple six point triple six, you will get minus zero point zero seven seven. So this minus zero point seven double four five two point triple six, you will get minus point five, and this will be minus zero point two four eight. Now when to stop the problem? As we have seen in the previous case, 
you should get the lower values so 0 0.00 is favorable figure so still uh, here 0, 0.0 we have got already negligible but here it is again the bigger value so it should be a smaller value so now there will be carry over moments so carry over it so this will be minus 0.25 and this will be minus 0 0.038 okay next again balancing so 0 0.25 into 0 0.33 you will get 0 0.083 0 0.25 into 0 0.366 you will get 0 0.1665 0 0.038 into 0 0.366 you will get 0 0.025 and this will be 0 0.012 so next will be again carry over moment so this will be 0 0.0125 so this will be 0 0.083 so then the last this one you will get here now as i had discussed in the previous problem the problem should act at the balancing row so minus 0 0.0125 into 0 0.333 you will get minus 0 0.0041 and this will be minus 0 0.0083 and this will be minus 0 0.083 into 0 0.666 you will get minus 0 0.055 and this is minus 0 0.027 so now the values are almost negligible or very small values so now you can add so now from where you will add the new values row okay so where we have done zero for a and d so from that point you have to go on adding so this final row will be of final moments okay so this will be zero m a b will be zero now you have to go on submitting from this new values from 10.835 you have to go on submitting so after submitting you will get 17.99 and from this minus 31 you have to go on submitting you will get minus 17.99 from this one value you have to go on submitting all values till this balancing last balancing you will get 5.49 and from this minus 4.165 you have to go on submitting you will get minus 5.49 and this will be zero we have already made it so these are your final moments mab0 mba 17.99 mbc minus 17.99 mcb it is 5.49 mcd minus 5.49 and mdc 0 see these are your final moments so after you get this final moments you have to draw the bending moment diagram so now already i have drawn the bending moment diagram for the loading case so this was 3 meter span 4 meter span 3 meter span the entire ud wall was 12 kN per meter so wl square by 8 so if you do it you will get 13.5 kN meter this will be 24 kilonewton meter because L is changing and this is again 13.5 kilonewton meter. So now once you have calculated final moments, the this value here it was 17.99. So it will overlap and this will be your 17.99 value and this will be 5.49 value. Just now we have calculated and this are zero okay so now you can join those points so this next point you have to join here and then to zero so this will be your bending moment and diagram so these values you can write down 17.99 this will be 5.49 kilonewton meter so this will be your final bending moment diagram okay so these are zero values so after this they may ask you to draw the elastic curve also so for that i have drawn already this figure a b c d of beam with given intensity 12 kilonewton per meter so here it is hinged so the elastic curve will look somewhat like this it will go again it will come back this dotted line is your elastic curve this will 
so like this way you have to solve a moment distribution problem where both supports are syncing so i hope you have understood this problem if you have understood this problem please like it share it and don't forget to subscribe all about structural analysis and design and also press the bell icon for the latest notifications of my videos in civil and structural engineering thank you friends